we need to consider an important terminology distinction. In literature, the terms metrics and KPIs are often used interchangeably. This is not always correct. Please remember the following. All key performance indicators, KPIs, are metrics, but not all metrics are KPIs. KPIs are primarily non-financial, and like you can see in the scheme here, measure quality, efficiency, and cycle time. Some examples that we see here are percentage of invoices without errors, which tracks the accuracy of your billing department. Other KPIs are number of journals performed per person, per FTE or per full-time equivalent, percentage of journals booked automatically, and so on. When a metric is primarily financial in nature, we call this metric a key business indicator, a KBI. In the table on your screen, you can see examples of KBIs. Labor cost as a percentage of spend, R&D as a percentage of revenues, etc. Besides KPIs, which are primarily process-oriented, and KBIs, metrics that are financial in nature, we can also have key risk indicators, or KRIs. KRIs are measures that have to do with the risk level of a certain activity. Now, ideally, these metrics give you an early warning regarding a situation that could potentially harm your company's performance. KRIs could be oriented towards internal and external risks. An example can be political unrest in the Middle East that can lead to higher oil prices, which will have a serious impact on your cost base and overall profitability. In addition, we can have certain compliance metrics which are set by external parties, such as auditors or government regulator agencies. One example of such instance is the rule about equal pay scale between men and women in some countries. Another example is the Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002. According to it, U.S.-listed companies like Coca-Cola need to be SOX audited for variances and misstatements in the financial information they have disclosed. Moreover, other aspects that are tested in an SOX audit are strength of internal controls and governance of the accounting department. When testing for variances and misstatements, auditors will review documents prepared by the company. This is another example of a compliance metric. I hope this lesson was able to convey its main message to you. Not all metrics are KPIs and that key business indicators and key business risk indicators are also metrics. Thanks for watching.